He's really struggling to find the word on his AAC. Maybe some help. You better stop! Never use hand-over-hand -hand prompting with a language learner using AAC. Here are three reasons why. Number one, it inhibits motor planning. A motor plan is how the brain connects to the body. It's how the AAC user learns how to get their thoughts from their brain to whatever body part they use to activate their AAC systems. So when you place your hand over their hand and activate their systems for them, you are interrupting their motor plan and it will take even longer for them to become independent. This goes into number two, using hand over hand prompting discourages independence. You are preventing them from building up the necessary synapses and neural pathways in order to learn how to use their devices or other AAC systems by themselves. I know you think you're helping them, and there's no other reason why you would do that, but here are some better ways to help them. Simply modeling the language, touching the icon that you think they're trying to say helps, and also hovering over that icon also helps. You're not touching it for them, but you're giving them a visual cue. This is because it is not interrupting their motor program, and it helps guide them to the word you think they're trying to say. Which brings us to number three. Hand-over-hand hand prompting is a little presumptuous, don't you think? Using hand-over-hand hand prompting is assuming that you know what that language user is going to say or wants to say. You may really know that person and know the context that they use that language, but you can't always know what is in someone's head and what they're trying to express. So it's better to just avoid doing it at all and use other visual cues to help support as well as lots of patience. If you're interested in learning more about neurodiversity affirming care or to schedule a consultation with me, please follow me at Support the Spectrum on YouTube, TikTok, Facebook, or Instagram.